Hello there, this is Christian from Create.io. We at Create.io are building a distributed database that is designed especially to work seamlessly in containerized environments. And due to its shared nothing architecture, it's just a perfect fit as a persistence layer in clustered applications. It gives you resiliency due to its built-in sharding and duplication uh, without giving up SQL secure language. In this video, I will show you how you can deploy a create cluster using Docker Machine and Docker Swarm. Uh, in this blog post above, uh, you can see the instructions how to set up uh, a Swarm cluster on Google Compute Engine with Docker Machine. Uh, that's what I've done already, and let's take a look at this. Uh, we SSH to our uh, machine master and so in the US central 1A where we have docker machine already installed and uh, we see we have uh, five nodes we have a node for the environment where we obtained the cluster ID token from. We can we have saved that in our environment. Uh, token. Okay, this is it. And we have a swarm master of the create swarm and three additional uh, nodes. You can see uh, the IPs uh, addresses of the, the different nodes. And they're all running if you use the Google driver to do that. Uh, now we can load the in create swarm environment into our shell and dash dash swarm create swarm. Uh, yeah, we need to load that into it. We see here this is the IP of the master. Uh, at this point we can occur info. This will show us four nodes with the create swarm, which is the master. It's running two containers already, which is one for the the swarm container where the management is running, and the other one is uh, the join command. Uh, the nodes have also one container running, which is also a swarm container running the join command. So this, the nodes are all joined to the master. Uh, now it's really easy uh, to run a single instance or deploy a single instance of create onto one of these uh, four machines. Just um, the usual docker run command, docker run dash d dash p, we need to expose port 4200, which is our HTTP port. We're using the create latest image, uh, create executable, and give it a name. Let's say es cluster name equals uh, hello swarm. And this is submitted to master, and the master decides where to install it. Yes. Okay, might take a little bit of time to get the response. Um, uh, now, now here we have it. It's running uh, on the machine hundred four one five four nine three eight nine, exposed on port four thousand two hundred. We can uh, verify that with the curl command at this endpoint and pretty printed loop. Okay, we can see it, the great instance is running. And to verify it even further, we can say exposed to our under SQL endpoint. And um, 
query the cluster, the node, just a JSON object statement uh, and select ID name, host name from sys nodes. I'll make it, make it prettier. Okay, here we are. ID, the node name and the host name, which is the host name of the Docker container where Crate is running in. Docker PS. Let's stop this again. Docker stop and remove the image. Okay, so how do you do you deploy a cluster then? So deploying multiple instances of a program is easy. You just do the same thing uh, multiple times and the master decides where to install it. The problem we have with Crate is uh, that the Crate nodes need to uh, discover each other. And for that, because we are running inside a container, we need to tell Crate from outside what's the host uh, Crate is running on. This is currently not uh, possible to do with a Docker Swarm directly, so we need to do it a little bit differently. And I've created a script, which is also available at the end of this blog post. What we do there is we get the list uh, of all available remote Docker hosts, which is basically this one. Um, and we reiterate in this loop, we iterate over all the hosts, uh, and then we know uh, we can uh, we can execute the Docker run command and pass the pub host, the publish host, to create. So we don't uh, use uh, Docker. So we use Docker with the uh, remote host option enabled and not directly. The other options are um, we disable multicast, we set the publish host as I already said, uh, we need to set all the unicast hosts so the nodes can discover each other and we also have minimum last node which is uh, half of the nodes plus one so you have a quorum. And when we uh, deploy that, when we execute it, mm. okay. Now we search container. Okay. Now we found it. We run. Um, swarm list with uh, our token and it returns a list of all the remote hosts over which we iterate and run uh, the docker run command on each of these uh, docker hosts on these docker servers and the individual run commands are like here docker dash h tcp this is the host and run create 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 and we do that four times let's wait until this is until this is finished okay docker ps so we have three instances running now might take some time until all the instances are started. Okay, now we have all the four instances uh, started. And we can even open that in our browser. Slash admin.
So it's only one node yet. So finally, finally, all the nodes have joined. As you can see here in the logs and also in the web interface, we have all the four nodes. And we can verify that with curl command as well. Um, Docker PS. Um, Take this one, SIP curl dash exposed underscore SQL pretty D and the payload again is just a simple JSON statement key select ID name host name from sys notes. And here we go. We have a row count of four, and here are all the rows, also all the nodes are listed. Okay, that's it.